guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial featuring the Amorezi palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I am obsessed with this this is a palette that I've been reaching for every single time I decide to wear my makeup this is what the colors look like I love absolutely every single color that is in this palette and today I guess I will call this my summertime bronze smoky eye um, it's super easy to do as you will see um, I'm so I say how many times can I say um you can use anything. You don't have to use these specific colors or this specific palette. To see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Did my eyebrows already? Um, so I'm gonna start off with my eyes, of course, and then I always go in to do my face makeup. But um, I'm gonna be using the I'm Marisi palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I ordered this from Ulta.com for $29. Um, but I'm sure you can go to your Ulta or order it from Anastasia.net. But this is what the colors look like. I really like this palette because it's um, a mixture of um, warm tones and neutral tones but with pops of color. Um, my favorite is this Morocco and Caramel color and I really like this purple color. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start off with Caramel blending it out into my crease as like my starting shade. And... I'm just going to blend it into my crease like this. So, just blend it out into your crease. Um, and you can use this these, this color wet if you want. But I'm just going to take the color Topaz, which looks like this one. And it's like a gold color, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And I like this color because, and all these shadows are very pigmented, which is a plus. And this palette is only $29. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that already. So it's a good deal. I went back and forth with myself deciding like if I wanted this palette or the Lorac, the Lorac palette. And I'm still going to get that one, but this one is $29 and that one's $42. So I just was like, and I just love the colors and the packaging is like, oh my goodness, why wouldn't I get it? So I got this one. So I put topaz all over my lid, and then I'm going to put the color um, um, Legend, like, in the inner half of my eye. And it's just like a yellowy gold, really bright color. Just for some brightness and to open my eyes up some more. This color is so pretty. Um, and I don't know what I'm naming this yet. Probably like Summer Smoky Eye, I guess. But I'm going to take my other favorite shade, which is Morocco. And it's like a, it, to me, it's like an orange brown color. It's very orange, in my opinion. But I'm just going to take this and. Put this on the outer corner and outer part of my crease with a light hand. I'm just going to buff it up. Close the door all the way. So as you can see, it's very pigmented. Now, I know it looks messy right now, but I'm going to blend everything together. So now I'm going to take that same uh, brush that I used to blend everything with that um, first shade I used. And I'm just going to blend this all out. 
or all together really because I'm still going to add one more shade but I want to blend it out together first and I really love these colors just feel like they go so good together brush I'm going to put a little bit of deep plum is the color I'm going to put that on the outer portion of my eye like so just to sort of deepen up and then on the other side I'm just going to do the same thing okay so I just did that now I'm going to take this that um that topaz color again and put that back onto my lid just in case it kind of blended away um, um, that topaz shade and then I'm gonna put that legend shade also then I'm just gonna blend everything out So now I'm going to take on my bottom lash line, so now I'm going to take the color Morocco again on the outer, well on the bottom lash line. And this is just going to like bring everything together. And then I'm also going to take Deep Plum on the outer portion to really smoke it out. And then also I'm going to be taking the shade Vanilla, which is just a light white shimmery shade. Placing that. Uh oh. I like a really bright under eye area. So yeah, my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna apply my wing liner off camera and my mascara. For my wing liner, I use my Fabi liner from Jordana just to help me with my wing. And then I um, line the rest of my eyes with just regular um, black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna put the Revlon Lash Potion for my mascara. So I'll be right back. I apply my wing liner and my um, Rimmel Curl pencil in nude on my waterline. Just I'm not gonna apply my mascara until after I do my concealer and foundation and stuff like that. So let's just get into the face makeup. So I'm gonna start with my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the color W4, which is natural beige. This is like my favorite foundation. Um, I like it because it's natural looking, like it still looks like my skin, but it gives me the coverage that I want to even out my skin tone. And it gives like a dewy finish or an oily finish. So if you're not into that, then this foundation, as you guys probably have heard before, is not going to be your favorite. I mean, I do have oily skin, but I don't find that I get any um, extra like oiliness throughout the day with this foundation. So I'm just going to buff that out with my BH Cosmetics Flat Top Brush that I did a review on. If you guys want to see the review on these brushes, then I'll have that linked below. And if I, I'm looking this way because my mirror is right here, so that's why I keep looking over here. And I did not apply primer. I actually forgot because I don't use a primer that often. But definitely, definitely, if you want to use a primer, feel free. I, I would have if I remembered. Just entered the room, as you can see back there. Um, but I still do love these brushes. Um, I've been using, going back and forth between my 
using these brushes and also my Real Techniques one and the um, complexion sponge, which I still, I, I, I really like it. Um, this one I still like as well. Um, I do notice that the handle on this one is a little bit loose, but it's not, it's not like loose where I feel like it's going to just fall apart. At least not yet, so. But it's still a very good brush in my opinion. So for my concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 10, which is the light shade. And I always go back to this concealer. I just like the way that it looks. I feel like it's just a really natural, in my opinion, looking highlight. So I'm just going to blend that out as well with my Domes Concealer, which I use it for concealer. Brush. And this is why I didn't apply my mascara yet because I always end up smearing it with when I do my concealer. So I'm just applying um, highlight everywhere I would normally want to highlight. And I've been into, I don't know if you guys can tell, just like halfway doing my wing liner. Just doing it like to here and not doing it like all the way down. I've just been into doing that lately. So yeah, I've highlighted and, and now I'm going to contour just a little bit. I switched my six color BH Cosmetics contour palette. And I use this middle shade to set underneath my eyes. And I have been loving it. And I've also been loving using this um, e.l.f. small tapered brush that I got a while ago to use for underneath my eyes. My hair is just everywhere. Then I'm also going to set everywhere else on my face with this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation in the color um, five soft beige and I'm just going to take my elf powder brush and put that everywhere else or where I would get oily and then I'm going to contour a little bit with my NYC smooth skin bronzing face powder and brush for that I don't contour that much I don't feel like I need to because I do have like a natural contour in here just bronzing my face up a little bit and I am going to bronze my nose a little bit with that same or bronze my nose contour my nose And then for blush, I'm going to take um, Peachy Keen from e.l.f. because I haven't used it in a while. So I want to use it. And I'm going to just use an angled brush for that. It's just like a nice peachy blush. I'm just gonna buff everything out with a powder brush. And then I'm going to highlight as of, of course. I'm gonna actually use no, I don't know what this is. This is not a highlighter. Um, I cannot I always say, oh, I'm going to skip highlight today. And then I always end up highlighting anyway. So, I'm just going to put that all over where I normally like to highlight. 
I work my face like that. And I just feel like it just makes you look glowy, summery. So I really like that. on my that. lips, I'm just going to be using a NYX Butter Gloss. I love this color. It's in the color Cupcake because I feel like it just makes me look tanner. I don't know. I just feel like on tan skin, this looks really good. And I don't tan, so I just feel like when I wear this, it makes me look tan. I might just be... It's probably not true. I don't know. And of course, it's super pigmented. And I love the color. And I like these butter lip, lip these lip glosses because you don't need lipstick or anything like that. You can just wear them like that and go. So, what else? I'm gonna finish with um I'm gonna finish um my eyes now. I'm gonna take the color deep plum and smoke out down there because I want it to be a little bit smoky and you can do this to your liking if you don't want it this smoky um, you don't have to do it like that and then I'm gonna also take the color glisten um, I decided I wanted to use this as well because it's just so pretty it's like a rose gold and I just like the way that it looks so I'm just putting that over the top and yeah, so now I'm going to finish with mascara. Like I said, I'm using the Revlon Lash Potion. Um, and I like it. It's okay. And I'm just going to do this really quick. Okay, hey guys. So this is the finished look that I did. This is um, what I decided to come up with. You guys can see. This is what... Oh, my highlight just looks so good right now. But yeah, guys, this is a summertime smoky look, I guess. Once again, I love all these colors. Um, so definitely, definitely check out this palette if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long and I hope I didn't bore you guys. But hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you in another video. Bye.